Hey everybody, it's Dennis, and I'm doing a special Facebook Live as part of a lecture for a course that I teach on Udemy. And in this lecture, I'm going to do a, or actually I'm going to build a bot from scratch, which is something that I talked about at the beginning of the course. So I'm going to go over here and I'm on chatfuel.com, which is an application that I use to build bots. And you can see here are the bots that I have already built and have running on my different Facebook pages. I'm going to go ahead and click on this here because I want to start a bot from scratch so that I can show you what it's like. So the first thing that you're going to get is you're going to get a welcome message and you're going to get a default answer. Now the welcome message is what you want your users to see when they come to your bot through your Facebook page. And then the default answer is there as a kind of a fallback. So if for some reason somebody gets to the wrong area of your bot, that they're going to get this message instead of some generic message. Kind of like when you go to a website and you get a 401 error when you go to certain pages that are no longer there. This is the same thing. So you're going to want to make sure that you uh, set up something for a default answer and get your welcome message set up. I'm going to let you take care of that and you'll find more information at chatfuel.com and you can also look for the Chatfuel community here on Facebook. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to create one of these bots so you can add a sequence or a group. So a group would just be a way that you kind of group different blocks together. And as I've said in the course, I kind of think of blocks as building blocks. So you can set up a group and then you can name your group. So I'll just call this new bot. And then you can create your block here. So first of all, you're going to get your block you're going to get these cards right here. I'm going to name this chatbot. You can name it whatever you would like. And then I'm going to drag and drop this under new bot. So you can drag these blocks around and then you can start organizing them. So let's start throwing together a bot. The first thing that I like to do is click on typing because it simulates that somebody is doing some typing and that they're going to send you something through Facebook Messenger. And then you can click on image and then you can go and pick something. Let's go ahead and pick a quote here. Let's see, where did that go? There it is. All right, we'll just wait for that image to load. There you go. So I have on here sending out some Friday love. I can replace that or I can crop it and you can do the same. So the next thing you might want is some text and you'll start typing in whatever your message might be. And then you can use some of these attributes that are already there to kind of personalize the information that's going to be displayed when somebody comes to your chatbot through your Facebook page. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to type in first name because I want it to give the name of the person. And you can see right here, it's a little hard to see there, but there's 619 characters that can be typed in a text bot with chat fuel. So I'm just going to say something like, welcome to my page. I hope you like what you see and will visit us often. And then you might do something like, don't 
forget to like our page and that'll help you build the amount of people who are liking or following your page. Let's just call this copy talk. Okay, so you have your block right here and you can start doing things like adding a button or we can do maybe something like a gallery where you can start doing a sequence. Uh, we can put some more quotes right here. And then it'll ask you if you want horizontal or square images. I kind of like square images myself. So then it'll go into the editing mode and we'll just crop it to the text right there. And you can do something like, let's say this was a poster. You could put in buy this poster for $4.99. And then you can put a URL to that item and then add a button. And you have choices. You can point it to a block. So if you have another block with more information, or you can do share, buy, if you want to connect this to all of the stuff that allows you to take payment processing through chat field, you can certainly do that. But in this scenario, I would put a URL that would go to a website off of Facebook so the user can purchase that. And then you can add more like this. And I've done this in other bots that I have, but I'm just showing you here how easy it is to build these bots. I'm going to click delete right here to remove that. So we've got image, gallery, we've got go to block, sequence, and then I've shown these before. If you're in the course, these are the chat field plugins, all kinds of different things that you can connect to, including displaying video, sharing a location, a chat room, connecting with Google, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Zapier is something that I use to connect to my ConvertKit email application. But there's a lot of these that you can use, including user input, so that you can get information such as an email address. And then you already have, through Facebook, the name of the individual. And then through something like Zapier, you can send it into uh, ConvertKit, into MailChimp, into Constant Contact, Aweber. All of those are included in Zapier. And if you go to zapier.com, then you can find out more information on that. But I'm going to put in a quick reply down here at the bottom. And this is where you would typically put in something like, oh, let's say... Uh, sports posters and then it says enter a block so then you would want to create a block over here and call it sports posters and then you might do the typing you might do a little text and then you might add an image and then you might add another quick reply and the reason why you want to do that with a quick reply is because when you build a bot, you want to do uh, subscribe and unsubscribe. So when somebody comes to your chat bot on your page, you want them to opt in to say that, yes, you can continue to send me messages through Facebook Messenger. And there are rules for that. And I have those rules in the course. At the end of the course, there's a bonus lecture section that has all of the resources for the course. And that has information through Facebook, what you can and cannot do with a chatbot. 
So we created this block over here with sports posters. So now let's go ahead and connect that here to our quick reply. So now as the bot is shown in Facebook Messenger on the desktop or maybe on a mobile device, which is most likely what somebody is going to be using uh, because a high percentage of Facebook users these days are using their smartphone to view Facebook. And I do that a lot, especially like when I'm on the go. So the next thing that you would want to add would be unsubscribe. And then you would create a block and you can do that right here. Unsubscribe. Oops. I want to make sure that I spell that right. So it says create unsubscribe block. So I'm just going to click on, uh, click on that. <laughs> and then you'll see it's created unsubscribe over here. But I want to create a group that's specifically for uh, subscribe and unsubscribe. And then I'm going to drag and drop that over there. And then I would create another block and call it subscribe. And then you would do some typing, some text, and it would just say something like, you know, to subscribe to our uh, Facebook Messenger. Click here, something like that. And then you would go through um, a sequence. I think you can do that over here with these plugins. There we go. Well, this is for a sequence. And a sequence basically is just a series of messages. You probably would be familiar with that if you're using Aweber, ConvertKit, or MailChimp. So I'm going to click on that and do sequence. So we can do a call as a welcome. And then you can see that here it has after one day, after one day, after one day. What this is doing is it's setting up a sequence so that once somebody subscribes to your sequence, then you can send them out a message much like you might be doing with your email application. And I do that with ConvertKit when somebody signs up. I have a sequence so that I can give them a welcome and maybe give them some information. And then the next message might be a few days later and it would be a soft sell. And then maybe another message a few days later and it would be some more information. And then by the time that you get down to the cell, then the individual is comfortable because you've sent them some free information. They like the information that you're sending them. And so then they most likely would buy your product or maybe if you have an online course, they would enroll in your course. Or if you have a book, they might go to Amazon and buy your book. So you just click on this here and you would you know, name the blocks like this one we might call welcome. And then we'll just call this hello again. And then you would start building these just like you would do with the bots. You would click on typing text, maybe click reply again and do a gallery. There's so many things that you can do with chat field to build these bots for your business. And then you can start marketing to these individuals. Again, at the end of this course, there's going to be the bonus lecture and there are resources. I highly encourage you, if you take the course or you're building chat bots, 
to read the rules that Facebook has because if you break those rules and somebody reports your bot as spam and you get too many of those, then Facebook's either going to stop you from being able to do chatbots or they might completely shut down your page and you don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm advising that you take a look at that. So, I mean, this is how easy it is to build a chatbot. And then you've got everything, you're starting to automate this. Uh, then you would set up the AI and you could start doing broadcasting. You can configure this, you can grow your bot subscribers, and then you can get analytics. I'm going to show this and then I'll show some of these in a future Facebook Live. This is how you set up a chatbot to know how it reacts to users when users input stuff like, you know, because they think it's a real person. So they might put, let's see, we'll go default group and we'll just call this welcome. So in this message, we'll just type in hello, hey, and then you would say something like hello. We are happy you let's see happy you are here and then we'll do random so this just means that it's going to pick one of these so we'll call that one hey you what's up so when somebody comes to your chat bot and they type in hello or hey, this is how the bot is going to respond. Now you can also do a block too. So you can set up something different. In some of mine, if they type in the name of the course topic, then it's going to come back with a block. So it just depends on how you want to build your bot. But the automate and the AI are, are going to be the two things that you do the most when you build a bot. And again, it's just, you know, it's so easy. Like you can see right here, I already have like something set up except for a link to the, um, what we're calling a poster. But this is just a, a quote there that I downloaded. So we've got sports posters, we've got unsubscribe, we've got those over here under the group. So we're starting to group things to kind of keep things organized. And then again, the first thing that you want to do when you create one of these chatbots is create a welcome message and create your default answer. So that's just a little bit about how you build a bot from scratch. And if you have any questions, wherever this video is, it might be on YouTube, it might be on Udemy, it might be somewhere else where I have this course, you can ask those questions that you might have, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you have a bot already, go to socialmediachatbots.com and submit those bots to the directory so they can get listed on the website. Or if you want to skip all of this and you want to have somebody build a bot for you, there's a link for that on socialmediachatbots.com and you can get a quote on how much it might be to build a bot for your Facebook page or your business. All right, my name is Dennis and I'm the instructor for the chat field course on Udemy that shows entrepreneurs and small businesses how to um, build chatbots and I will leave in the description for this I will leave a coupon to the course if you're interested in taking the course and joining a couple of the groups that I have set up to help people out with chatbots thanks for watching have a great evening or a great day if you're watching this at a later time Take care now. Bye-bye.